Okay, this is a quick video. You can see one of the channels there popping in and out. So I've got the Audi R8. It's a 2008 model, the V8. And they have a fault, a known fault, with the radio stations that drop out. Um, and there's nothing on YouTube that's been able to help me, so I thought I'd have a... Um, I'll do this video. Hopefully it can help someone else out. There was a recall on a part. This is the part number there. Uh, and this was a plastic version originally. So the same reference number there. Uh, but ended in P. Uh, they've since upgraded it and it now ends in AB. So this was originally located underneath the passenger side. So I'm in the UK but passenger side underneath the tail light which was a nightmare to get to uh, there was then a recall which changed it to the uh, the other side of the tail light so it's a bit easier to get to uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute and I thought I'd show you just how I'm going to pop all the bits off and replace this come back in again and then see whether these channels reappear they're showing a few channels at the minute as soon as the engine starts up they all drop off so um, let's let's have a look and see how it goes so what we're going to need to do is I need to take this panel off um, so that is going to be just turning all of these they turn and pop they should stay in there this one actually comes out but uh, as you turn these there's another one there there one further at the top and then one down the side just where that that lever bracket is uh, sorry it's down there actually uh, just there they've all got to come out uh, screw drive in here there's a little ring clip on there I'm gonna pop that off don't lose it because you can't buy it separately that's an expensive bit of kit to replace but you pop that off once that is off so it'll get a screwdriver into that bit pop that off then we're just gonna smack that now just having one of these on only so the other one um, isn't strong enough to hold this up but you'll see what we'll do we'll pop that off and then we'll just it swings over so we'll just prop that there somewhere just to keep uh, keep this lid open um, I'm gonna have a wiggle and remove it but what we're also going to do is keep this wing up we'll remove actually you can just loosen these two um, take these two out and then this bit of mesh will just slide and remove. It's only a small, only a small piece. And then we'll actually get to what is this. So pretty important. Have a look and see whether that is there or not. Like I say, that's the they normally cover that bolt in a bit of uh, bit of mastic or something to try and protect that because that's your connection. Make sure that's there. If it's not there, it hasn't had the um, upgrade from the recall which means it sits in there somewhere um, I've not done that because that is all of this coming out and I think a wheel arch and the wheels as well so if that happens um, I won't be trying that so yeah so make sure that that block there is there um, and I'll show you how we how we strip it down so all these are popped that one did come out in the end uh, these are still in there but they just turn and pop We've taken the pin off, the uh, ring off, uh, pop that over. As I said, I'm just going to prop that against there just to help me. This steering fluid lid needs to come off as well. And now this is all free to go. I'm not going to video it because I don't want to damage it, so I'm going to use both hands for that. Um, one thing to note is there is the light there. So as we start to peel this off, just reach inside, disconnect that light, give it a wiggle, and it should all just slide straight out get this put back on what I also do is I just pop that back on sorry I just pop that back onto there as well uh, after this is out just to make sure it's still a bit still sturdy okay I'll do that now okay that's the uh, panel out put this back on just put the back on. I haven't put the clip on it but that's back in uh, so that should be okay this is what it looks like without that trim on uh, we've now got fairly good access to this still need to take this mesh off uh, but that goes around and connects into there so that's what we're going to replace now the aerial cable to this actually 
comes around and behind this panel so i'm just trying to avoid my number plate but behind this panel with the badge on it bolts across the top the torques will take them out then underneath uh, pop out pop out the um uh, number plate lights pop them out disconnect them take them off there's two of them and you'll see there's one two and then three and four across there so they're all torques as well that'll just remove uh this panel that'll come off and give show us this plate and that's just a pop off piece so let's take that off all right so now i've taken this panel off maybe a bit easier to show you take all the torques uh fittings out and then on the underside if i flip this around there was one within there pop out the tail light the number plate light uh, disconnect it you'll see there's another screw other number plate light pop out disconnect screw and again one at the final side and then once that is there you just give it a it's rubber grommeted in on each corner just pop that out and that will just come straight off and that now reveals this plate which is where this little uh, connection goes in so that's one of the cables that goes around to that box so I just need to take that small piece of grill out and then uh, we'll look at removing it okay so we've taken out this 10 mil uh, bolt out of there we've disconnected just pulled off that that's what this is so that's my original part number um, with the little uh, plug that was in so what I need to do now is that's where you'll see I need to get in there just cut that tie wrap unplug it plug the new one in bolt it all back up again I won't waste your time with all of that um, and then see whether it works or not so I managed to cut the tie wrap pop that out put the new one in the 10 mil bolt back in now this should be a an angle so don't make that square um, that'll tilt downwards for uh, any water to run off Got a clip on there it's just to hold this cable that runs around and now clips onto the back of there so let's have a look and see whether it works before we, uh, before we put it all back together again so moment of truth that because I'm not sure about copyright rules but that seems to have fixed the problem um, time to put it back together again okay and that's now all complete so all the screws back in got the spoiler back down again these are all tightened up I did put a small amount of silicon around the 10 mil bolt only because they had some on that uh, before I took it off so I put some more of that on these are all now nipped in all the way through don't forget the clip so it clips back on don't forget the light when you're putting that back together because it's a bugger put it all back together and realize you've not clipped that back in again and that's it i think she's ready for a clean now all right i hope it was useful um best of luck <laughs>